Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past, and more. I got this on various sources. Please check the description to know more. There are many interesting topics there, and not all of them can be covered here. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Over the years, dozens of objects have been discovered that do not fit the mainstream inside of history, archaeology, and anthropology. This electrical connector is one of the less known artifacts, yet its characteristics are fascinating. According to experts who have analyzed the artifact, estimated it to be approximately 100,000 year old. This electrical connector was discovered in 1998 when electrical engineer John J. Williams found what appeared to be an electrical connector protruding from the ground on a hiking trip in North America. The object was found in the middle of nowhere, far away from human settlements, industrial complexes, airports, factories, and electronic or nuclear plants. After digging deeper into the ground, Williams discovered a device with a triple plug embedded into the rock. Williams did not tell the exact location where the electric connector was found, which has led skeptics to conclude that this artifact is just another hoax. But the further revelation about the characteristics of this artifact says otherwise. The artifact is now referred to as the paradox. A device with the undeniable aspect of an electrical component that ended up embedded into solid granite, stone composed of quartz and feldspar, with slight traces of mica. There is a tremendous amount of secrecy surrounding this electric connector. Numerous offers of up to $500,000 for the device have been made to Williams, but he has denied the requests. He has refused to sell it. The paradox is not an accretion, concretion, pumice, or fossil. It does not contain any known resins, cement, glues, adhesives, limestone, mortar, or other non-rhylite non-granite binding agents. It is a complex substance. The alleged electric connector itself is about 8 mm in diameter, the device's pins are about 3 mm high. The spacing between the pins is approximately 2.5 mm, while the pin thickness is about 1 mm. As per Williams, who has consulted an engineer and geologist to analyze the object, the electric connector embedded in the granite reveals no trace of being glued or welded in any known form. It is clear that the thing already existed at the time of the formation of the rock. The artifact has a weak magnetic attraction. Ohmmeter readings indicate either open circuit or very high impedance between the pins. The artifact has been compared to an electronic connector or any other similar electrical component. It is not made up of wood, plastic, metal, rubber, or any other identifiable material. The founder of the artifact has not allowed the object to be divided in half for analysis. Still, X-ray results have shown that the artifact consists of an enigmatic opaque internal structure in the center of the stone. According to Williams, melted blobs of a metallic-like material on the component's periphery suggest that some metal object near the petrodox was subjected to high temperatures to melt the metal and molten metal splashing onto the embedded part. Many believe that science does not interest these objects because they are afraid of what they might find out. What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learn something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you.
Researchers from the University of Exeter and the Ethiopian Cultural Heritage Research and Conservation Authority have discovered a long-forgotten city in eastern Ethiopia's Harla region, known as the Ancient City of Giants, which was built in the 10th century BC. The discovery was made by an international team of archaeologists, including researchers from the University of Exeter and the Ethiopian Cultural Heritage Research and Conservation Authority. Gigantic cities built and inhabited by giants are the subject of several stories and folklore. The traditions of several societies that were separated by great oceans all indicated that there were giants who lived on Earth, and numerous megalithic structures from different periods of history also suggest their existence. According to Mesoamerican mythology, the Quinemetsin were a race of giants tasked with erecting the mythological metropolis of Teotihuacan, which was built by the gods of the sun. A variation on this theme can be found all over the world. In this part of Ethiopia, that is exactly what happens. According to current residents, enormous buildings constructed of massive blocks encircled the side of Harlot, giving rise to the popular belief that it was once home to a legendary city of giants. Locals have uncovered coins from various countries, as well as ancient ceramics, over the course of the years, they say. Also discovered were enormous building stones that could not be moved by people without the aid of modern machines. The fact that these structures were constructed by regular humans was thought to be impossible for a long time as a result of these factors. Several notable finds were made as a result of the excavation of the archaic town. Anyway, I found these photos with the following description. Photos leaked from one of the planets of the constellation Orion, the photos show the civilizations of our older brothers. But as far as I'm concerned, it's AI generated and then photoshopped to give it the look of old photos. What do you think? What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.